Right. The local Urban League is calling on all people to unite and span the divide. It says it is making Cincinnati two cities, one black, one white. The Urban League released an eye-opening report just minutes ago that claims the city's recent progress has not solved racial disparities, but has only hidden them. Local 12's Joe Webb just got a copy of the report. He joins us with what the study has uncovered. Joe. Well, Paula, the report is a series of essays that examines poverty, infant mortality, life expectancy, education and employment, among a whole raft of other things. It paints a clear picture in black and white. A group of people who contributed to the report released it during a news conference this morning at the Urban League's headquarters in Avondale. All agreed that Cincinnati is a great place and they love it, but it is seriously divided along racial lines. For instance, Life expectancy for African-American men in Cincinnati is 10 years less than Caucasian men. For women, the difference is six years. Of the 14,000 families living in poverty in Cincinnati from 2005 to 2009, three quarters of them were African-American. More than half of Cincinnati's children under the age of six live in poverty, but the number for African-American children is nearly 75%. The numbers are staggering, but the mood today was hopeful and a call for action from every Cincinnatian. Cincinnati has a part of its collective body that is not well. We cannot be well when unemployment rate for black people who want to work is three, three, three times that of the general population. We cannot be well when our public schools are not graduating black children who can take care of themselves and their families. We are creating a perpetual underclass of people. Now, Paula, the report also lays out how last year Cincinnati finished 73 out of 77 metro areas when you compare household income. In Cincinnati, the African-American average household income is about $25,000. For white families, it's $57,000. We'll have more details coming up on Local 12 First at 4. Paula? And Joe, that is especially disturbing when you're talking children here. I mean, that's the real focus, isn't it? Well, the report today was really about race. It was really about the disparities between African-American Cincinnatians and white Cincinnatians. Mm -hmm. And the disparities, yes, with children yeah. are just, I mean, they're heartbreaking. Yeah. Uh, when, you, when you read these numbers, there's a lot of work to be done. Yeah, as you said, a call to action with this. Thank you, Joe.